In this video, we're going to talk about the orthogonal projection operator. And um, first of all, we need to explain exactly what we mean by that. So the idea which we keep coming back to in these videos is that there is some sort of column space of the matrix of our independent variables x. And that defines a particular plane in some sort of higher dimensional space. And the idea is that we're trying to get as close to y, which lies off of that column space, in terms of a particular, by, well, by choosing a vector which lies within that column space, which we're calling mu hat. And I've sort of mentioned in passing that mu hat really represents the orthogonal projection of y onto the column space of x. So in this video, we're actually going to define what actually do we mean by the orthogonal projection operator and how do we actually go from y to mu hat? Well, we can actually already answer this. We know that mu hat is just given by x times beta hat. And since we know that beta hat is x primed x all to the power minus 1 times x primed y, then we have an expression for mu hat in terms of y. So sense would seem to suggest that this sort of term which I'm underlining here really is the orthogonal projection operator which transforms y or projects y onto the column space of x. So we call that orthogonal projection operator px and we just let it operate on y. So from the logic which we've used thus far, we can identify that px is actually equal to x times x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed. Okay, and we can ask what sort of properties this projection operator should have. Well, if we were to choose any vector which lies within the column space, so let's assume we picked a vector, let's call it w, which lies within the column space of x, then if we apply the projection operator to that vector w, then we should just get that original vector w out in the first place because the projection of a vector which already lies onto the columns in, in the column space is just going to be itself. You can't get any better projection than that. Similarly, if we have a vector w which is at right angles with the column space of x, then we should expect that p of x times w should be equal to zero because there is no way for us to project down that particular vector. You imagine a vector w which looks something like this, then there's not actually going to be any projection of w onto the column space of x. Okay, so let's try it out a bit then. We know that the vector mu hat lies in the column space of x. Hence, we expect that mu hat, if I use the projection operator on mu hat, then I should just get mu hat out in the first place. Actually, I'm running out of space a little bit here, so I think I'm actually going to continue this on in the next video, and we're going to show that the projection operator actually has, the, or the orthogonal projection operator actually has the properties which we expect it to have. 